Hello guys. So we're going to pour on a few pop sockets. Well, phone stands today. So I've already removed the bases and I'm just sitting them on my little two ounce paint bottles. I've got the goof off here to keep it in focus. So I just have a little cup and I'm going to take the paints that are pre-mixed from my little teeny tiny bottles. We're going to add some to the cup. We're going to pour on and make some fun different designs and stuff. We might blow some out with the straw. We might do all kinds of stuff. There's no telling. And then we're just going to set them up and let them dry. They'll all be set up on the mini two ounce bottles. Um, so we're going to pour them all here. I'll move them one at a time over. So first cup we're going to do Arteza Scarlet Red um, Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow being sure to close the top every time I do Arteza Pell Green I'm going to add a little bit of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black just so that it's not so bright. I'm just going to squeeze it around it. And just a dab of Artist Loft Turquoise right in the center. Okay. I'm going to twirl the cup around just a little so the colors kind of just mix just a little. I'm going to make a tip. And we're going to do a tree ring. And then we'll just kind of go from there. And of course we're not going to use all the paint. Carefully. Pour off some of that black. Okay, then I'm just going to go around and make sure all of the edges are covered with the paint on my finger. Because you don't want blank spots on your edges, you want it to all look like a cohesive piece. Wipe my hand off a little bit. Okay. You can choose to torch them or not. I'm going to lightly torch them. I don't want overly. I wiped my hand on a dry wet one and it kind of made, I don't know, some little stuff and I don't want it to fall on my piece. So let me put it to the side. Let me get a wet wet one so that I don't make that mistake again. I'll sit it there and then I'm going to just very carefully move this piece back here and sit it down. We're going to do another one. Same paint that's already in the cup, not changing anything. You can do whatever, you don't have to do tree rings. I've just found that I'm liking some of the patterns I'm getting with the tree rings. So I'm tilting it to be very careful not to get paint on this right here. Because that's where my next one has to sit and I don't want paint on the bottoms of mine. Go back this way just a little, cover the edge. Set it down. Touch up the edges. It'll keep flowing a little bit. Kind of like a canvas. Go 
cover this edge right here. Okay. I really like this one. It's got some really cool cells going on. I am going to lightly touch it with a torch. Just to do. And there's that one. It's got a lot of nice lacing going on. And what I've got set out here is tin in the black. And I've got, I think there's enough paint in here to do one more. But I'm going to add a little bit of the Artist Loft Brilliant Blue to it. Change the colors up just a hair. Well, if I open it enough. <laughs> um, change the colors up just a little. Give it some contrast. I'm going to do the swirl. It's pretty much the same as the tree ring, but you actually just kind of swirl it around. Um, and I'm going to blow this one out just with a regular straw. You want to make sure it goes over the edge everywhere. If not, you want to just pull it on over the edge. So that edge is, that little lip is covered. And this one's kind of cool. Um, it has a swirl effect in it, but it also has like some of the greens coming through. There you go. Crazy cells. And see, you can continue to blow. You can even pull it over with your hand to make the cells just a little bit larger and more defined. Set up another bottle and move it back. And I'm going to set up a few extra bottles real quick so that I have places ready. I do like some of the textures I get when I blow it. That one had some little white pieces on it. It still does. Okay, so now we're going to add more paint to our cup. This time, we're going to do Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. And none of these colors have any silicone. They're just paint flow draw. I'm going to do some Artist Loft Metallic Purple. Um... Let's do some Arteza Pale Green. Purple and green tend to look good together if it's the right shades. And then Artist Loft Metallic Red. Then I'm going to touch the very top off with just a little bit of Artist Loft Metallic Copper. Just drizzle it over. Metallics are what tend to cause the cells, and then I'm just going to tilt the cup all the ways just to help the colors mix so that we don't get just solid colors in here. Okay. I'm trying to keep it in view, but I'm also trying not to get any on this thing. Okay. Then you just go around and make sure all the edges have paint on them. Okay, I'm going to hit this one 
very little because I do have a few bubbles but I don't want to like overdo it okay move this back and they're really simple easy and they don't take much time at all as you can tell we've already blown through like four or five they go a little faster when you're not doing it on video too because I'm not explaining it and all of that I'm gonna blow this one out and see how I like these colors together Okay. It's a little weird, but it's got like layers of purple and lavender with white. I'm going to sell it up and then I'm going to blow it just a little bit. And then the good thing about these is if you don't like it, like I don't like this one, um, you can just pour over it. You can actually use what's underneath as a top part and then you can just add ribbons, give it dimension. You can really just do whatever you want to do. This has got more of the copper in it, which makes it look kind of brownish, but I think it's kind of cute. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one because I do know that a few people will like like the gray tones and stuff of that nature. I'm going to make sure it's all around, which we blew it, so it normally pulls it all the way around. But I'm just going to check the back side. And then I'm going to move it back here. Now, some of them seem like they don't want to sit flat. And the reason for that is they have this little bitty bump in the center sometimes. Um, so you just have to kind of maneuver it to where it'll be level. But once you do that, you're good to go. Okay, now we're going to do some bright. So let's see, I've got Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow. And we're going to add some Artist Loft Turquoise to that. Some Arteza Scarlet Red. And some Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. I know I'm pouring it off camera, sorry. I meant to sit it up here again. Bright colors. And I'm using the same cup for all of this, guys. There's really no reason to change cups in between. Unless you just definitely don't want colors to mix or whatever. Okay, I'm going to touch up a couple little spots. Do, do, do. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. I'm not going to torch this one because I like it just the way it is. It turned out pretty much perfect for what I'm wanting. So I'm just going to carefully move it back. Make sure it's level. And go for another one. And I may not do all of them on this video just because I don't want to take too much time. I might just do these ten. So I've got this one and three more.
Okay, I do like these rings here, but if it doesn't turn out quite the way I want, I'm probably going to blow this one out. But I don't know, it's starting to turn out pretty well, actually. I'm starting to see some more of that blue and a little bit of that yellow pop up. Kind of a yin, yang, but in blues and yellows and reds. Okay, I like that one, actually. I would put that on my phone. I'm going to hold it way up because I don't want cells. I just wanted to pop that bubble that I saw. And we're going to slightly set it to the side. We're just going to keep it on a roll, you guys. Trying to keep it where you can see what I'm doing. My hand's kind of in the way, sorry. Had to tilt. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, this little lip here that I created by uh, using the finger from the opposite side by accident, I'm just going to tilt. Pour off and then set it right back on. It'll continue to flow some, but I really like the way this is kind of, this one's done. Put another bottle back here. And sit her back here. Oops. Slightly unlevel. Level you up. Come over here. And sometimes if you have stickers on the top of your bottles, it can cause them to be unlevel. So you just got to work with it until it lands level. Okay, we're just going to do this one and one more. Um... For now, so that this video is not too very long, do, 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 do. I'm really just making ribbons or whatever with the last of what's in here in that cup so that it gives it some like 3D effect, almost a texturized look. Also something to mention, if you do one and you don't like it, you can do a clean pour over top of it and then after you do the clean pour, you can do whatever, like blow it out or tilt it. I'm just liking what I'm getting with these, so that's why I'm kind of sticking with that for now. Okay, wipe my hand off. This is the final one of these. And the cup's pretty much empty, so I'm going to sit it up here so you guys can see. And I'm just going to do white and black. Um, there are other colors left in the bottom of the cup, so if you wanted it to just be white and black, you would probably want to use a different cup. There's some red mostly, so we're going to get some like pinks.
Okay. So see that one's black and white. I don't know if you can really see the colors, but it's black and white. And then it's got little tiny rings of like a pink. It's not really red because the white mixed with it. It's a pink. I don't like that. I, I had a bubble and I pushed it too much. So let's see. I really don't want to blow on it, but I, I really liked it the way it was. <laughs> but I couldn't keep it because I had a big air bubble and if I didn't pop it, it would have left like a hole in it. try to tilt that. I zoomed it in so you guys could see what was going on but I think that might not have been the best ideal for like stuff like this because now you can't really like see the full thing when I tilt it my hands always in the way. Okay I still like this one not as much as I liked it originally but I like it. So I'm just going to move it out of the way and then we're good to go and I'll come back with you guys in another video and we'll do some more and have fun with them. So let me know what you think. Let me know which one you liked the best or what color combinations you'd like to see me do on one. I hope you guys enjoyed this.